On Sunday, 24th April 2022, the 250 capacity conference auditorium of the National Engineering Center, Annex Uyo Branch Secretariat of the Nigerian Society of Engineers, located at Plot 6 Residential and Commercial Layout, Ring Road 2, Athanaford, Uyo was filled to the brim with members of the organization during the Medan General Meeting and Technical Paper Presentation. I am the General Alpan, the Assistant General Secretary of the Nigerian Society of Engineers, Rio Branch, and a member of American Society of Agricultural and Biological Engineers, a life member of the Nigerian Institution of Agricultural Engineers. I remain engineer in my music here. The treasurer of this branch, a mechanical engineer, I work with the Minister of Works in Kwaibu State. My name is Engineer Dr. Ibom Ukbo. I'm a staff of Kwaibu State University in the Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineer. I'm the Public Secretary of the branch. My name is Engineer Nete Cornelius, the Assistant Technical Secretary of NSC UEO branch. I'm working with Minister of Works on our segment to Ministry of Lands and Water Resources for the supervision of the International Christian Worship Center, Electrical Works to be precise. My name is Ubiro Kenoko, the branch chairman of NSU Bureau Branch. I am by the special grace of God, the CEO of the Five Contractors, the United Limited, the construction company. I'm also a company representative of the Penza Ceramic Tiles of Thailand. We are the only sole distributor of that product in Nigeria. The Nigerian Society of Engineers Bureau Branch, holding on 24th of April 2022, is here by call to order. Well, welcoming members to the first general meeting of the Nigerian Society of Engineers, Uyo Branch, in its permanent building called on the organization members to encourage themselves for greater exploitation are heard. A welcome address presented by the October Club, MNSC, on the Medal General Meeting for Technical Paper Presentation of the Nigerian Society of Engineers, Rio Branch, at the National Engineering Center Index slash Rio Branch Secretary on Sunday, 24 April, 2022. The protocol is here duly observed. This little speech as presented by my humble self is not just significant in today's occasion, but it's a speech which is to encourage ourselves. Good afternoon, distinguished engineers. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to the first general meeting of the Nigerian Society of Engineers in Europe in this permanent building, a place where all engineers in Aquaibu State can be proud of the National Engineering Center Annex slash Puyo Branch Secretary. To God be the glory, let us encourage ourselves. Okpop said it was a welcome development of a new era to host the general meeting of the organization at the permanent secretariat after 37 years of the organization as a periodic tenant in several buildings in Uyo Metropolis. In 1985, two years before the Aquarium State was created, exactly 37 years ago, since then, the branch has grown and not for us professionals, yet the branch remains a pillory tenant of several buildings in Rio Metropolis. Therefore, hosting this general meeting here today is a welcome development to a new era and a great opportunity for us to encourage ourselves. He regretted the numerous challenges faced by the organization in the absence of a permanent secretariat and assured that the secretariat, when completed, will serve as a place for planned professional activities, international workshops, virtual meeting room, engineering library, material laboratory, conferences, and exhibition. This is 
Because there is no secretary to serve as a point of contact, not even an office space for the chairman and other ESCO members. This building, when completed, will serve as a place for planned professional activities, international workshops, virtual meetings room, engineering library, material laboratory, conferences, and exhibitions. Through this complex, recommendations can be made for employment of our young engineers, as well as private companies owned by our own members for service delivery. The essence of this meeting here is to continue to appeal for massive support for the completion of this building. The branch chairman used the opportunity to thank the Akwaibum State Governor, Mr. Udomi Manuel, on the appointment of two engineers, engineer Dr. Basi Basi Okun, as Commissioner for Special Duties and Ibom Deep Sea Port, and engineer Camillus Esienumo as Commissioner for Trade and Investment. As a society, we have laid a solid foundation of growth and development that will blossom in the next few years for our future engineers. Recently, His Excellency Governor Don Imanda, in his magnanimity, appointed two great engineers into the State Executive Council. One, who is the former Technical Secretary of our branch, Engineer Dr. Basi Basi Koko, MNSC. Atil Roba, Commissioner for Special Duty, and the Code I also want to inform us that the Commissioner for Investment, Trade and Investment, that was appointed alongside the Special Duty Commissioner is equally a member of your branch. That is Engineer Tamilus Esil Momo. He is a member of this branch. Reactions and goodwill messages. Before we talk about having secretariat, like uh, the fellow had said, I know what we went through because I know the finances that was at the disposal of each of those regimes and how they all manage it. And one thing I, I didn't lose hope of was the fact that since somebody somewhere had muted the idea of having a secretariat, that it would definitely come one day. And that day is today. And the place is here. So I want to thank the ESCO for the enormous work that they have done. Mr. Chairman, I want to thank God for your leadership strength. Because uh, what is happening in with your branches is making news in Abuja. I bring you greetings from my Tama branch. <laughs> Sir, I'll personally make my contribution today. Because when you mentioned this project to me on the phone, I never knew with this kind of enemies. So I give it to you and your issue. Everyone that has contributed in one way or the other for us to be where we are today. So I thank you for bailing all of us out that we struggled in the past, but we, we could not arrive here, sir. So I will queue behind you and support you in this project. On his part, engineer Dr. Esien Akmanudo presented a paper on the techniques in the Bill of Engineering Measurement and Evaluation. Payment is a four-letter word, B-E-M-E. The whole essence was because of the conflict between quantities for various and so Bremen was created. They were not trained to compete in other engineering facilities such as highways, 
dams, and so on and so forth. And so the need to create an exclusive computational method was evolved by engineers. And this is called BIM. Simply put, BIMs of engineering measurements and evaluation. Evaluation can at times be interchange for BIMs of engineering measurements and estimation at the completion stage. So in this case, we said there are two evaluations. One is formative and the other one is uh, summative. And then the summative is when it draws lessons from completed actions or project at the later point in time of the completion. Interpretations of uh, evaluation, systematic rigorous and meticulous activations of scientific method to assess the design, implementation, improvement, or outcomes of the program. It frequently requires resources such as evaluate expertise, labor time, and a sizable budget. You will notice that evaluation, in evaluation or estimation, some degree of ingenuity must come. This is where experience comes in. For instance, if an employee or a client retains the services of a cost engineer or a civil engineer basically, to prepare them. At the end of the day, it is the evaluation that will determine whether the client will be able to put out that project for bidding, depending on his uh, pocket. If at the end of the day, your cost is higher than what the client desires, obviously, therefore, you have to go back and do some adjustment. In other words, you have to bring down the scope. Next. So this brings us to the interpretation of the evaluation one by two. The focus is on fact as well as value-laden judgment of the program outcomes and Next. The main purpose of a program evaluation can be to determine the quality of a program by formulating a judgment of course by the upper as mentioned there. Next. So evaluation gives rise to concerns since projects, evaluators, and other stakeholders, including funders, have different definitions of merit and means. Yes, hold on. As I said, at this stage, either evaluation or estimation can be substituted. Each one of them can replace the other. Now, at this stage, the estimation here of a project will offer the client who must have decided to seek your services whether he will be able to go ahead and call for bidding or not. And of course, everything at this stage will of course be dependent on the market uh, conditions. I know that in Aquaiva in particular, we have a very pretty fleet and uh, our economy that is very, very dynamic. The prices of goods can go up within a few minutes or within a few days. So at this stage, evaluation which is expected of lecture appraisal questions and answers session. Because most times, even government might tell you as a contractor, source for the funds, either through bank loans or draft, after the completion of the project you are being given or a mobilization is being given. Taking this into cognizance, you appreciate the fact that in engineering economics, there is what we call net present value, which one naira today, the value of one naira today is not the same as one naira tomorrow. So in that case, how do we inculcate this into the payment such that if the project under a particular timeline, because we observe how even the cost of cement just doubled in just a quick pace. So if you have submitted a quote or a payment to a client with this with those costs and in between the project timeline, you are having such an option. How do you do? How do you inculcate that? In addition to what um, Prof said, the presenter mentioned that without accurate measurement, you won't have the, the uh, data to make your your evaluation. And in fact, if you don't employ the a competent person to take measurements the project may become more expensive and uh, 
out of reach. Then he also mentioned the items involved in the various deals for the unpriced payment. In summary, we were told that the award is just general and it's for the administration of the project, while Bill 2 involves site clearance and headworks. He also told us that Bill 3 is mainly covert and concrete drains, that's for the typical uh, road construction project. For those who have uh, done a technical presentation for us in the past, it is a tradition that we give them certificate. Engineer Kinipe Abraham, MNSC, in appreciation of your technical purpose presentation, title fundamentals of lubrication and engine oil selection. During the branch general. The Credo TV show had a one on one interview with personalities and participants at the event. The executive of uh, the planted, you know, when you read the Bible, I think First Corinthians chapter 3, it says, Paul, uh, Paul has planted. I follow us at water. The other people planted, other engineers. But I think the chairman and the school that watered and what is going to give increase. What we are seeing here is a nucleation that will bring about development in this state. It's something that is marvelous, something that should be seen all over the world. I meant to have this type of initiative and not just having initiative to actualize it is something that should be commended highly. Yes, it has. It has really impacted us. Today's outing is very really impressive and you can see everybody is happy that finally the NSC has the NSC has finally gotten a place of, of their own and it's very, very impressive. I want to thank the chairman because he had really, really tried, he had really, really, as in, and this is, this is something that in years to come, we will still be participating. We will still benefit from it. Yeah, um, today's meeting is very unprecedented in the sense that this is the first time the um, engineering body in New York particularly actually meeting in, uh, in our own you know, engineering building. And of course, um, that event actually spiced up with that brilliant presentation from um, the presenter, the lecturer today, which was on the very fundamental um, of what you do as an engineer, which is PEMA. PEMA is actually one of those things the engineers you know, carry out when you need, you need to you know, make appropriate um, deal of quantity for whatever project you want to do. So for me, it's, 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 it's a profound um, in the meeting um, because it's something you need to celebrate. Um, over the years, you've been you know, dreaming and planning to have a place we call our own, you know, the engineering body in our in particular. And that dream actually comes to me. So it's, it's a very uh, gladdening one for me.